Yo guys, welcome back to On Certified Fire. I'm Blue, and today we're diving into an Ace Grading Returns in this wonderful box here. So without further ado, let's jump in. So once you've opened up the box, you've got this delightful little paper, and then you have, oh, I've got two boxes. These really nicely packaged little boxes that have a nice Ace sticker on top. So I've got two in this one and we'll dive into what these look like now. Nice. These are really well packaged, I had to cut through that, and then once we've done that, hopefully you won't see anything. No, they are then tightly wrapped with a little bit more cardboard in there, in a big old stack. So I've got one there, here, another stack there, look at that. What kind of shocked me at first is there's no paperwork in it. It's all via email, so that's kind of nice. You just literally get the cards, the graded slabs in here. So we'll dive into those in a second, because I did have another little submission that I got previously, which was five little cards. And I'm gonna have a look at those first, because I've already looked at those, but I've not looked at these new ones. I'll show you these first. First card being a nine Pokemon Center Lady. 10 seem to be so hard to get. So I was really happy with this nine. Very lovely card, I was buzzing about that. I got a Phoebe 9 as well, fill out trainers, I love fill out trainers, absolutely amazing, so buzzing to get that as well. And something that you might not have seen before, is that like they stack really well, I'll show you in a second how they almost stack, it's delightful. We got a Mallow and Lana, I got this from Joe, shout out to Joe at Chaos Cards, this was a trade, I got a 9, very very nice, very very nice, stack that on there. Then the last two cards, I got a... This was a card I won from the Villain Cards Villain Vault in their, I think, first ever stream. Is number three, which is blue. This is a fix. I cannot believe this. What? What is happening? And it came back a nine, so absolutely buzzer. Thanks for that, boys. Been holding on to that for a little while, so that's delightful. And then last but not least, the most expensive of the lot is a Sightseer from, uh, Tag Team GX All Stars. It's worth a surprising, a surprising amount. So I am actually going to be selling this. I think a PSA nine sold on eBay for about three hundred quid recently. So I'm going to see if I can make some money back on this to fund the rest of these. So yeah, also what I was saying about a minute ago, how they stack. Look at this. So they kind of stack together. Look, look at that angle I'm holding them at. Like that's flat. Look at this. They're like stacked together. Uh, it's almost vert vertical and they stack together. It's quite impressive. There's like a little ridge that goes around the uh, on the corners. They are really nice. I really like the quality of these. They're nice and thick. They don't bend at all. They're really rigid. They feel really like high quality. I love the labels. I think they look great. Really buzzing about that. And then you've got the back side as well. That nice little hollow there. You've got that little like stamp there, the little ace stamp at the bottom. Not overly keen on that to be honest because it takes goes over the card a little bit but overall I really like these slabs so let's put these to the side let's crack into one of these because I'm not gonna lie I, there's 18 cards here and I cannot remember what I sent up so I'm gonna open them another one at a time I don't know if I can hide the oh I can oh I can hide the thing so there might be a bit of a pattern here there was some amazing rares sent off and because tens are so hard to come by I don't know what I'm gonna get it's a nine it's got my Sweaty hands all over it. <laughs> there we go. So we've got a Celebi in a nine. I'm happy with that. A Celebi, amazing rares are gorgeous. And I love, I like, I didn't get any fancy labels. They're all standard labels. I think this bit is gold if it is a 10. I know the amazing rares do have an awesome ace label. However, I was quite happy with the normal one. So we've got a Riker as well. That can make an eight. Interesting. Interesting. I didn't think I would get an eight, but there might be something. There might be a little nick somewhere or something. I can't really see. But it's an eight. My hands are really sweaty and it's on the clear glass. I'm really steaming them up. <laughs> I might try to hold it less. So that's a knee mint eight. Interesting. So I just wanted to have the full set. I'm not massively fussed about the grade. This one is the Zation. And this one got a nine. Very nice. Again, stunning artwork on these. The 
amazing rev is just wicked. So very nice. Okay, we've got a nine there. What's coming up next? See if I can cover up for myself. Zamazenta, and that got a nine as well. I'll be very surprised if I get a ten, to be honest. Ten seems so hard to come by. But Zamazenta, nine. Shame about the eight there. I'm going to put that in a separate pile. It's just that bad. I can put it in an eight pile. No, I'm kidding. Okay, what's up next? Rayquaza? Oh, Jirachi. And Jirachi is... Hey, yes! Actually got a ten. Come on! Let's go. Actually got a ten. Buzzing about that. That's surprising, really. I didn't know how hard it would be to get a 10, but look at that. See, the 10, yeah, you get the gold across there. Very nice. Jirachi. So nice. Love it. Got myself a 10. Let's put that there. Okay. Next one is going to be... It is the Rayquaza. Raybane. Ray is a 9. Okay, I'm happy. Happy. I just don't want any more 8s. Eight. 8s are rubbish. 9s and 10s is where it's at. So, yeah, gorgeous. That's one for... Matt, Hojo, from Villain Cards. He loves Rayquaza. Oh, I'm just, I'm buzzing about that 10. I'm so happy. Okay, there's a nine there. Happy with it, I'm very happy with it. And we have Restaurant, Restaurant, I wanna say it's less. Oh, it's a 10! That's two on the trot, come on. I say two on the trot, it's not two on the trot. But I have two tens. Buzzing. I think I have a duplicate of this, of this so I sent off the right one. Very happy with that. Yeah, I'm. I don't know what you think from looking at them if you've not held one yourself, but I think, apart from you steaming them up, because these are quite cold, they've literally just been delivered. Um, but I massively rate it. I hope they don't steam up on the inside, but we'll see. I'll try not to touch it so much. But yes, that's another 10. Two 10s. Kind of annoying that I've got a set of 8s, 9s and 10s of the Amazing Rares, but we'll see. We've got Kyogre. I don't know how many more there are. And this is a... It's another 10! I did not expect to get this many 10s, but Kyogre, Sapphire and Emerald are my favourite games, so Kyogre's got a special place in my heart there. Absolutely brilliant. Kyogre, another 10, that's three 10s, that's three more 10s than I expected to get. Is it another amazing rare? Yes it is, this must be the last one probably. Yvel Tales, that's taking half of my submissions, and it is a 9, it's a 9, I'll take it. It's a very awesome deck, actually. I quite like the Veil Tower. I've made it online. Bit cheeky. Just knock anything out. Probably not so good when the V-Stars come out. But there we go. We've got a 9. So, that's not bad. We've got one eight. Stupid Raikou. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9s, and 3, 10s. Okay. Right. Let's shift these out of the way slightly. And we've got the other box. And what I might do, I might compare them to... Some PSA cards. I've got some PSA slabs which I might compare them so you can see the next uh, side by side because I hadn't really seen those before. So, because there is some interesting comparisons. So, first up, we have. Oh, we got a gold Mew. What can that get? <laughs> it's a 10. Oh that is a wicked, wicked grade for a 10. A gold Mew in a 10. I am ecstatic about that. That is wicked. Oh, that's made my day. I'm so happy that came back to the 10. I was talking to the Poke Attic about that. He had mentioned he had sent off a, uh, a Mew as well. Right, I think I sent off two of these maybe. Hoping to sell one. <laughs> a 10! Come on! That is impressive. I'm getting my sweaty hands all over it. Hang on. In my sweaty hands all over it. We've we got a gold bird, stainless steel birds. That is awesome. The tens are coming out. I really did not think. I've got as many tens as nines now. I am buzzing about this. Right, another one. Can we do the double? Oh! <laughs> so guys, I'm gonna be selling that one. I'm gonna be selling one of them. So if you wanna if you want them, hit me up. I'll be selling one of those. As well as the sights here. Oh man, double tens. That is wicked. That is really quite good. Maybe it's not so hard to get tens. Maybe I was just being stupid with the first ones. Oh, we got a cheeky little Gengar. Gengar comes back. An eight. That sucks. Didn't expect that. It's a really cute little Gengar though. That's why I did it. He's really cute. I really liked it, but an eight's a little bit depressing. But hey ho, what can you do? It'll do. A seem to be very strict with their grading, so I don't mind. 
I do not mind. Look how many slabs I've got now. Look at that, just chilling. So many slabs. Right, next card. No idea what they are. Oh, Brooks Vulpix. And this is gonna come back, I reckon maybe an eight again. A six, oh, oh, straight to the heart. That's, that's not great, but it's a wicked card. Brooks Vulpix from Gym Challenge. No, it, yeah, Gym Challenge 2000. A six, okay, X-Mint. We, uh, yeah, take the, take the L for that one. But it's still cool. It's still cool. I have to go in its own pile over here. I can go in the trash pile sideways like that. There you go. That's fine. Okay, so I think there are four cards left. I know what these are now. These ones, I don't care what the grade is. Obviously, I'd like them to be higher, but these next ones are some awesome cards that I collected from X and Y back in the day. I think when I was at uni, I collected these, and I absolutely love these cards. So hopefully, they come back in a nice... Nice grade. We've got the Victini first. It's probably going to have back a terrible grade from Noble Victories. And we get an 8. Okay, okay. Maybe the best I was expecting. I can't be too upset with that, but that's wicked. It's such an amazing card. So if that was part of the card, just a bit of fluff. Get off. I don't want to have steamed it all up now. There we go. Beautiful Victini card. Victini is awesome from Noble Victories. Absolutely amazing. You might be able to guess what the other ones are now. So that's an eight. Put it in the eight pile. These are just, just so I can have them. Next up, we have Verizion. And that comes back a seven. Yeah, okay. Name it seven. I'll take it. I'll take it. Beautiful card again. Beautiful card. Absolutely love it. There's a seven. So we've got a six, seven, eight, a nine, and a ten. Hopefully nothing lower. Next up, we've got Kubalion. Kabalian comes back. A nine! Oh, interesting. Because I've had these for a while and they've not particularly been sleeved up. Or well, they have been in a binder immediately. But back when I wasn't so sharp with it and um Yeah. Wasn't so clever at sleeving and protecting the cards. But yeah, beautiful nine. I'll take it. So then last but not least, must be the Terrakion. I think this might have been the worst condition one. And this one comes back. A nine! Interesting! Just the Verizion getting that seven, eight, and the nine. So I'll take it. Terrakion, beautiful card. Number 99 from 2011. That's a decent time ago as well, to be fair. So yeah, I've got the full full selection there. These guys. Come here. These guys here, loving that. Absolutely awesome little collection there. I'm happy with that. It's annoying that there's... Get the nines together. 7899. Nine. Cool if that was a 10, but whatever. So, yeah, those were my returns. So, let's have a quick look. I've got some to compare with. Let's check those. There's a pair of nines. That's a seven. Let's have a look at the stained, stained glass birds. So, let's compare this to a 10 in PSA. A, uh, let's pick an English one, shall we? Have I got an English 10? Here we go. An English 10. There we go. So first comparison. Also, one thing you notice: PSA come in the little in a little sleeve. Ace do not. It's just a raw slab, which is interesting. Um, I mean, it's still super protected. It just means you won't get any scratches, I guess, on it. Um, first off, you notice the the sticker, the label is a bit bigger on Ace. See, it's a little bit fatter, a bit longer. Um, width wise they are exactly the same width but thickness ace is a little bit thicker kind of hard to tell there a little bit but it is a little bit thicker um, but yeah same same length and width it's just a bit thicker, a bit fatter um, PSA has the like uh, frosted um, so plastic whereas ace is completely transparent which is I don't know which I prefer I'm coming round to the Ace. I preferred this one at first because I think it frames the card better. So you don't get distracted by like your fingers going through it or anything. But I, I think I do prefer the Ace. I prefer the Ace actual label. I know it's bigger, but I prefer the writing. I think the black and the white look so smart, even if we looked at like a nine. I think they look so smart. I don't like the red around the PSA. I think that looks so smart. So. Interesting comparisons, comparisons, and then obviously the PSA 10 doesn't get a different color label. If it's an A, it's exactly the same thing. So, yeah, I, I don't know what I prefer. It doesn't have the little stamp on the bottom either. 
Um, the only things that they were originally complaining about was the like glue bit at the bottom, but they both have a little dot essentially. Can't really see it. I prefer Ace, if I'm honest. I know PSA holds the value more. I really hope Ace continues to be fantastic. The turnaround was good. So these were standard. So there's bulk, there's standard, there's express maybe. So these came quite quickly. They, it says maximum six weeks or so, but these came within, I think four, four weeks maybe. Um, which is really good and I think they're 15 pounds a card obviously PSA they're not going to be open for like another five months or something um, despite them doing 40,000 cards a day which is mad they're not going to be open for a very long time so I think eight are a fantastic option I would I would recommend them a hundred percent I've obviously spent a lot of money with them now but I've got some goods I've got the goods that Mew is absolutely fantastic that's going to stay with me for a long time Fantastic. One of these, like I said, is getting sold. So very, very nice. And I've got my full set of amazing rares. I've got my Noble Victories full arts. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, that's my comparison. I, I would love you to let me know what you think. If you've got any ace grading cards, let me know down in the, in the, in the description, in the comments. Let me know. I would love to know what you've got, what your grades were. Do you think they were strict with the grading? I think they're strict with the grading. Like, I'm kind of shocked at this six. I don't know what the... Oh, no, it is a little bit... There's a lot of whitening on there, actually. I think I, I sent this off almost just so I could have it, because it's kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, this one's a bit of a shock. Is there any whitening on it? Anything on the corners? Maybe not. Oh, no, look at that. There's a bit there. That's not on the case. Yeah, understandable. But, yes, that, that drops down to a seven. I think the texture on the front is fine i don't think there's much going on in the front but yeah the back was a little bit battered but yeah so i did get a seven but pff, i got a lot more tens than before because i didn't get any with my first admissions these trainer cards i didn't get any there oh and i'm just gonna drop them off. So i didn't get any nines any tens there which i really thought i would kind of disappointed there but considering the that's my nine pile that's like six, seven, eights, nines, and tens. So I am happy with that. I am very happy. That's enough of me talking. Today is Friday. It's meant to be a weather warning. We're meant to be going to a Brilliant Stars pre-release, Red and I. Praying we can actually go because I want to vlog it. I think it'd be so much fun. I'm so excited for it. Um, but I'm also really glad that this came as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And yeah, let me know what you got in the comments. Have you graded with Ace? Do you like them? Are you going to? Are you going to avoid them? What are your thoughts? Right, you guys take care. Peace. <laughs>